Dr. Andy Bukacek is a board-certified internal medicine physician and sole proprietor of her medical practice in Kalispell named Hosanna Healthcare. She's been practicing medicine for over 30 years, most of those years in Montana. And in 2019, won the ACP Laureate Award for commitment to excellence in medical care, as well as service to their community and the ACP. Thank you, and thank you for the introduction. At a time where telling the truth is considered a threat to national security, we're very blessed to have a pastor who tells us the truth. So I'm gonna talk about death certificates today. The decision for unprecedented government mandated lockdowns has been based on the alleged death rate of COVID-19. Is this death rate based on truth? I posted the following question on Facebook yesterday. This is the question. Know anybody personally with baseline good health who has been hospitalized for COVID-19 alone or allegedly died from COVID-19? That was my question. I ask the question this way because if you know someone personally, you may know their baseline health status and some details of the case. And being tested positive for COVID-19 does not mean you have the disease. Even asking the question this specifically, I still got some people saying their spouse knows a friend of a friend who's of a nephew in New York. And some who answered yes, but didn't give the details, even though I asked them, could you please submit some more details? Inquiring minds want to know, are the reported deaths from COVID-19 truly deaths from COVID-19? To address this question, we need to discuss death certificates since death certificates are the basic source of information about mortality. Still, we need to talk about it because they are the basis of the so-called death rate of COVID-19. History changing decisions are being made due to these figures despite the fact that they are flat out wrong. More often than we want to admit, we don't know with certainty the cause of death when we fill out death certificates. That is just life. We are doctors, not God. Even before, before we heard of COVID-19, death certificates were based on assumptions and educated guesses that go unquestioned. When it comes to COVID-19, there is the additional data skewer that is, get this, there is no universal definition of COVID-19 death. The Center for Disease Control updated from yesterday, April 4th, still states that mortality, quote unquote, data includes both confirmed and presumptive positive cases of COVID-19. That's from their website. Translation, the CDC counts both true COVID-19 cases and speculative guesses of COVID-19 the same. They call it death by COVID-19. They automatically overestimate the real death numbers by their own admission. Prior to COVID-19, people were more likely to get an accurate cause of death written on their death certificate if they died in the hospital. Why more accurate when a patient dies in the hospital? Because hospital staff has physical exam findings, labs, radiologic studies, etc., to make a good educated guess. But even those in hospital deaths, the cause of death is not always clear, especially in someone with multiple health conditions. I will talk more in a little bit, in a little bit, about why inaccuracy in the cause of death has declined for hospital deaths with the introduction of COVID-19 testing. The death certificate is filled out with the best educated guess. There's a U.S. standard for death certificates that includes a line for immediate cause of death, followed by two to three lines of antecedent causes, giving rise to the immediate cause, then one to two lines of other significant conditions contributing to the death, but not causally related to the immediate cause. Okay, let's combine the information I've given you so far about the guesswork involved in filling out death certificates and apply it to COVID-19. The analysis that follows requires the presupposition that in today's medical climate, many, if not most, patients sick enough to be hospitalized will be checked for COVID-19. It also requires an understanding of what we know at this point, that most people who test positive for COVID-19 have mild or no symptoms. Therefore, testing positive for COVID-19 does not mean a person is sick with it, or if the person died, that they died from it. 
To drive this home, we need to understand how the CDC and National Vital Statistics System are instructing physicians to fill out death certificates related to COVID-19. Brace yourselves and please pay attention and let what I'm about to tell you sink in. The assumption of COVID-19 death can be made even without testing. Based on assumption alone, the death can be reported to the public as an another COVID-19 casualty. The March 24th, 2020 National Vital Statistics System memo states, and I quote, the rules for coding and selection of the underlying cause of death are expected to result in COVID-19 being the underlying cause more often than not, end of quote. The CDC report of cases in the U.S. memo from yesterday states the death numbers are preliminary, quote, and, and have not been confirmed. Here's a, a quote even more laden with meaning. Stephen Schwartz, National Director of the Division of Vital Statistics, says in answer to the question as stated in the organization's COVID-19 alert, quote, should COVID-19 be reported on the death certificate only with a confirmed test? Quote, COVID-19 should be reported on the death certificate for all decedents where the disease caused or is assumed to have caused or contributed to death. Certifiers should include as much detail as possible based on their knowledge of the case, medical records, laboratory testing, etc. End of quote. Fact, quote, COVID-19 caused death, end of quote, and quote, assumed death by COVID-19, end of quote, are not the same thing. And for those who died from something else and had an incidental finding of COVID-19 positivity, dying with COVID-19 is not the same as dying from COVID-19. To reiterate, if a patient tests positive for COVID-19 and dies from another cause such as pneumococcal sepsis, it may be considered accurate to say that person died with COVID-19, not from COVID-19. Yet the CDC guidelines list as one more, they list this case as one more COVID-19 death and they go to the next questionable death. They label that as COVID-19 and it goes on and on. You could see how these statistics have been made to look really scary when it is so easy to add false numbers to the official database. Those false numbers are sanctioned by the CDC as of their memo yesterday, April 4th. I have made physical copies of those memos in case more people start looking at their website and they decide it's too much truth for us. How many people have actually died from COVID-19 is anyone's guess. Again, God only knows. But based on how death certificates are being filled out, you can be certain the number is substantially lower than what we are being told. 